Emergencies Act to put an end to the... Be, be, be. Before we go to the next question, I just want to remind the honourable members, I'm starting to hear some more rumble and talking, maybe just whispering a little bit lighter would be better. The honourable member for Carleton. Thank you. Not once, not twice, but 13 times did this public safety minister claim the police told them to suspend people's civil liberties with the Emergencies Act. Not only did the cops say that's not true, but yesterday, two of his fellow ministers, including the deputy prime minister, said it's not true. And today, the prime minister refused to say that his public safety minister had acted honorably. If his fellow ministers don't think he is honorable and truthful, why is he still in cabinet? Yeah. Honorable prime minister. Mr. Speaker, while the member opposite uh, concerns himself supposedly with the freedom of Canadians to protest uh, illegally, uh, we're going to continue to stand uh, with Canadians who had their lives disrupted uh, by the illegal blockades and, and, uh, and protesters uh, who, uh, who took, uh, uh, took such lengths to try and shut down our economy uh, over, uh, over the month of February. We have continued to work with, continued to work with police officers, with services, uh, with uh, local authorities to give them the tools we needed and ultimately chose to invoke the Emergencies Act to keep Canadians safe and to put an end to these barricades. Honourable Member for Carleton. Disrupting people's lives? This from the, the guy who took away the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of people because of a, an unscientific mandate that robbed them of their individual freedom. I'm going to interrupt the Honourable Member. Uh, we were doing so well. I just don't want to ruin it. Please calm down. And the honourable member, the honourable member for Carleton, from the top, please. This disrupting people's lives. This is a prime minister who disrupted the lives of tens, if not hundreds, of thousands of people because of a personal medical decision. Everything this government has been saying about our truckers has been false from the very beginning, starting with the claim that they would spread a, they would spread a virus even though they're in a truck all alone all day long, and ending with the recent claim that the police had asked for the Emergencies Act. Now that the government has admitted that the public safety minister stated falsehoods, will the prime minister do the honourable thing and fire him? Yeah. Honourable prime minister. Speaker, every step of the way throughout this global pandemic, we had Canadians' backs, and that meant uh, ensuring that we followed science, uh, that we did everything necessary to keep people safe, and that we did everything necessary to make sure our economy would spring back as quickly as possible. Now, the member opposite knows full well that he stood against our scientific measures to keep Canadians safe. He stood against the measures we put forward to support small businesses, to support families, to get through this pandemic and indeed stood against the measures that have led us to recovering 115 percent of the jobs lost during the pandemic when the U.S. has only lost uh, recovered 95 percent. We had.